Well, yeah, man, you know, as always, really good to talk to you. Um, I know a lot of folks in the audience don't know who you are. So just a quick intro. Um, Cody Thiel is joining us and really partnering up with Solar Surge to help us help us expand the platform. Um, most of what we do here at Solar Surge is, is designing, you know, helping people designing and, and then getting, you know, getting the process started for purchasing a solar power system for homeowners. Um, but what we're going to be working on in the near future, and Cody's, you know, partnering with us, is, is to really help open up this platform so that other solar installation companies that wish to participate uh, as we open up new markets, and we're going to be we're talking about today specifically about uh, opening up the new market in Illinois, uh, but then also, you know, opening up the platform to allow more installers and um, uh, and also if there's other solar sales organizations out there that would benefit from our model and how we do things using social media outreach and so forth, being able to invite them on the platform as well. So, you know, Cody, always, always good to talk to you, man. And, um, but today we're talking about Illinois. So what, so what can you tell me? And I know you're up there now. What can you tell us for yeah. those that are you know, brand new to Illinois solar? So Illinois is a cold state right now. <laughs> I'm actually out here, um, live in Utah, but we're doing, running a blitz out here. So, Illinois, you know, it's a, it's a blue state. So anytime you have a blue state, there's more solar incentives usually. And so a, just a brief history on Illinois solar. There wasn't really much until late 2017, 2018, when they passed what was called an SREC or State Renewable Energy Credit Program. So really simple. What they do is they, they give an incentive for commercial and residential folks to go solar. Now, in some places that SREC, Looks like a marketplace where homeowners can sell their 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 power they produce on an open market, and they get a paycheck every quarter or month or yearly. What was unique to Illinois is while they still have that marketplace, from the homeowner's perspective or from a business owner's perspective, if they install solar, that SREC is paid for upfront, and so after an install, anywhere from eight to twelve months, they just get a big check. And so it's it's highly incentivizing for people to go solar out here. The the value of that for a residential system, I don't know about commercial, but is roughly twenty to thirty five percent of the the system cost, depending on what area you're at. Every utility has a little different incentive there, and and where they're at in the in the timeline, it is first come first serve. But twenty to thirty five percent is is a pretty reasonable expectation on an additional incentive on top of the federal tax credit. So that's the that's the basics in terms of of solar here and and what the advantages are and we can go into more details but yeah okay so so now this is what you're talking about this is on top of the federal solar credit correct because yeah. the federal the federal just went up from 26 to 30 percent isn't that right uh, about to so the the build back better I think is the new bill they're supposed to pass that in they said the end of the end of this month so we'll see but the infrastructure bill was overall some some solar stuff in it you know roads and bridges etc but this new one's supposed to be 30% tax credits so that'd be great so so in addition to that then you're saying with the Illinois residents by selling out or cashing out the SREX mm -hmm. then they could virtually have half the system paid for between the federal and the and the SREX is that yeah. right yeah 50 to 60% easy so wow that's game changer and that's for solar and solar with battery backup systems too i assume right, right? yep yep the, the total cost of the system now Bad, there's not a specific battery incentive like there are some places, um, but the because the the incentive is based off production, right? And so it's just how much power your your house can produce. But the battery, obviously, that helps. If you put a battery on, the overall cost is still lowered. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, I mean, because I know a lot of a lot of folks are probably wondering, you know, why would a northern state like Illinois be a, a good solar state. And we see it not just in, you know, in the Midwest, we see it on the East Coast too. Um, New Jersey, Massachusetts, New York are, are some big solar states, even though they don't get as much sunlight, you yeah. know, nearly as much sunlight as what you get, like say in Texas or Arizona. Yeah. But I guess because of the the state incentive adding on top of it, you, you more you more than make up for it in in savings with those incentives. Is that right? Yeah. And like the best analogy you have, like, cause people ask that all the time. They're like, it's not as sunny as here as it is in Phoenix. It's like, well, no duh, but you know, like Germany yeah. is a really good solar country and they're just as like cloudy as any of the, these Northern States, you know, if not more than most. And so that 
they still get plenty of sun. Um, I have, I can actually show a, a home we just sold and it, yeah, it, like it gets really good sun down here, you know? So is, is it, is it the same sort of net metering program that what we're accustomed to here in the East coast, where if you have extra solar, you can sell it and then you can, you can kind of buy back at night and balance out. How does Correct. it work? Yep. It's, it's a standard one for one net metering for the public utilities. Um, some cooperatives, they have a little different program. We can still work around it and, and get a really advantageous situation for customers. But the the standard public utilities are one for one net, one for one net metering. Um, now they do, I think it's like 5% cap. So they are getting close to that. So like it, you know, the, the oftentimes they do raise those caps, but it oftentimes they don't, or they change net metering. So it's not as, as advantageous. So the early people get in the better. Um, there, I was talking with a co-op today and they hit their cap like last, like mid last year and the new homeowners just don't get as advantageous net metering. So you want to get in as early as you can. Okay, sure. Sure. So, I mean, I guess that's one of the reasons why you're seeing so much activity there right now. Yep. Uh, what about just the overall electricity market prices? What, what are you seeing there on average in terms of price per kilowatt hour for electricity? Um, anywhere between, any, anywhere between 10 to 15 cents. So Illinois is a deregulated market. So if you're in Ameren or ComEd, I think it's the other ones like Midwestern. I, there's another public utility, it's pretty small. They only service like corner of the state, but if you can you can choose your party, your third party supplier. The, the downside of that is if you're not constantly updating that third party supplier every three months, what happens is, is they jack your rates up. So I, we just ran to a customer the other day and they were paying 15 cents a kilowatt hour and their neighbors are like next door are paying 11.8, you know? Um, okay. But also what's sunny, what, what's unique here is that they list the charges and at least on Amron, I think comment too, on the bottom of the bill, the pay for all this new infrastructure for the, the solar and the wind, they actually raise everybody's rates. And so on the bottom, it's like a 10 to 20% extra charge. And they list it out. It's like renewable energy rider, you know, clean cost recovery charge. And they list them all out. So people are already paying for solar in Illinois. It's just you're paying for the state's wind or the or Ameren's wind farm or whatever, right? So, yeah, and that that's the way I explain to people a lot of times too, because a lot of times the folks don't understand that the decision to go solar has already been made. Yeah, you know, so we're going to go solar one way or the other. The, the question is, do you buy it from the utility where the utility is the middleman and they make a little bit of profit on it? Yep. Or, or do you want to just own it directly? Yep. 100%. You know, but what, yeah, then that, that's why I think it's a no brainer. And then especially on top of it, because the way we typically finance these, these solar system purchases, and a lot of folks may, maybe don't understand that most of these don't require any kind of an, you know, out of pocket investment or any kind of out of pocket cash payment. You know, typically what we're doing is re replacing an electric bill with a solar loan payment that is at the same or equal level. And it just kind of, kind of washes out to zero. Now the advantage is over time, your solar payment stays fixed everybody else's electric rates go up with inflation so you can kind of freeze your cost at today's cost but that's that's in states that don't have this extra srec program that you're talking about so if yep. you're saying these srecs get paid out in the first year up front then i suppose the homeowner could essentially you know pocket a quarter of the system cost you know just as just kind of a lump sum extra income or they i guess they could pay it down on the, on the financing faster if they want to do that but yep. I could see a lot of folks wanting to just, you know, trade their electric bill for a solar bill, keep that payment the same. Yep. And then when these when these SREX bonuses come in, just, you know, I mean, you could use that for any any other kind of investment or whatever they want to do. And they still wouldn't feel any any negative impact on their budget for solar. Yeah. And then specifically in the state of Illinois, a lot of things just this is a worry comes up often is people say, well, Illinois doesn't have the best history of being fiscally responsible. <laughs> and so you can check the news for that. But so they kind of worry, they're like, well, you know, are they really going to pay me this money? I mean, some of these checks are like 11,000, 12,000 bucks. I mean, it's not, it's not cheap, um, but literally how the SREC market works is the state says, we're going to pay you for this. But what's going to happen is those credits are going to get resold on the marketplace. And so I've actually driven around, you see local businesses and local businesses can buy clean renewable energy credits locally. And they get a little sticker on there that says, you know, our, our energy is clean and renewable and sourced locally, you know? So that's, that's what's paying for this is, is really the, the other consumers are paying for this marketplace. And so 
like like you said, at the end of the day, you're going to pay for solar on top of it in Illinois. You know, it's, it's kind of unfortunate. You are going to pay for somebody else's solar anyway. So might as well, you know, use that to your advantage. If you own a home and you have a sunny roof or especially farms, you know, they get great credits as well. So. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I know we're, we're excited to be opening up the Illinois market, you know, on the solar surge platform. Um, tell us about our, our installer up there. So, so I believe it's, is, is it CS energy going to be the first CR. one? Yeah. CR, CR. solar. Okay. Yeah. So CRs, they've, they've been here for three, going on three years now, almost four and very solid company. So CR is your standard installer, right? Put the panels up, batteries, et cetera. CR, um, most of the, they're, they're based out of the St. Louis area. So O'Fallon, Edwardsville area um they do service the whole state we kind of like to avoid chicago because they're the permit the inner city of chicago the permits take a really long time right now um it's not that they eventually won't go up there but that's just where it's at, at the moment um ever since covid but um the 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 thing they do really really well is fast installs so they've they've said no to a lot of big volume opportunities because what that does is it it lengthens out the customer experience, which kind of makes the customer experience worse. You know, no one wants to go solar and, and have to wait seven months to go solar. And that's what we've experienced in a lot of areas in Illinois. And so they, they just, they say no to a lot of big volume people so they can service just individuals and families that want a quick local install. that's going to help them move fast and, you know, have, have a direct line phone number to them. So they're not waiting online all the time. So. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think speed of installation for everyone involved is is a key, you know, a, a key success factor here. Especially if what you're saying is is true about, you know, th there's this five percent net metering cap. I mean, how how long do you think realistically? How long do you think people have, you know, to lock well, this in before we hit that cap? So Illinois tried to, or not Illinois. Um, most of the co-ops have almost hit it already. So like I like the one I was working with this morning was Eastern Illinois Co Cooperative, and they'd already hit it. Um, Amarin said that they had hit it or last October, it turns out they ran the numbers and they hadn't. Um, so we're within several months, which is not a long time to hitting it. So it's time is of the essence. If you want to go solar in the most advantageous program possible. So, okay. And so for the, for the, for the for-profit utilities like ComEd and you know, the others, th those are still open for now. Correct. Yep. They're still open for now. And, and the co-ops are still open. It's just. You just usually can't get a hundred percent offset. That's just the difference. Or, or you have to have batteries to help offset it, which is still great. It's still better than what they offer in terms of electricity service. You're still gonna be saving. Um, it's just first come first serve is always better. But you know, early bird gets the worm. Sure, sure. So, guys, yeah, what what Cody's talking about is if 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 the utility hits its net metering cap, then they're no longer required to purchase your excess solar production. The way most solar works is you you have excess production during the daylight hours. So you're basically earning extra credits during the daylight hours so that at nighttime, what you have to pull back in, there, there's no solar coming in. So you have to buy at nighttime, but the goal is you, you earned enough credits during the daytime to cover what you buy at nighttime. So it washes out. If you don't have that, that net metering program, then typically people will either install smaller systems so that they don't have that excess production during the day. They just run their own needs. Or we could do a battery backup with it potentially so you can store the extra in your battery and then run off the battery at night. So there's a lot of a lot of different ways we can do it, but it sounds like either way, you know, kind of time is of the essence if you want to guarantee a a one for one net metering arrangement, which is the most profitable way to go solar as a homeowner. Yeah. And that's the same thing with the SREX. They when they initially opened it up, they I think they said it has roughly five years of money left in there. They ate through it in 18 months. You know, people are just like, Hey, there's, this is really good. And more people went solar than they expected, which is a good thing. Um, they just, I think it's the equitable jobs act. I think is the new one they just passed. And so the, the SREX just opened up September 30th. Again, the, the official launch date is December 14th for them. So we're getting everybody in line for those. Um, and they said there's there's more money than there was before, but again, like we just don't know how how fast people will eat that through eat through that because it it is a really good incentive. Great. Well, listen, I, I really appreciate you running through all of this with us. Is there anything else that we didn't hit yet that the audience should know about going solar in Illinois? Um, no, it's that that's the basics. Like I said, like to sum it up, you're gonna the the utilities are already switching to solar. 
And so they're, the power, your, your power bill is still paying for that. So it just makes sense to lower that bill, pay your own solar off and have the advantages of clean energy on your home. And everybody we've had here has been super thrilled with it. Um, a lot we've had, actually, I've had a customer that sold their home. They bought it six months later. They bought solar six months later, they moved and they had a great selling experience. So it's a mature market. So people can sell solar homes really well. They can get their SREX and it's really, it's, it's, it's probably for me, it's the best market for solar right now in the country for sure. Okay, guys, we will leave it at that then. So you've got federal tax credits, you've got state SRECs that will pay in some cases 20, 25% of the system, and you have one for one net metering now still open and available. So you can get your full full credit for your sell back. Um, well, I'll, I'll make sure that we get this video up soon so that we can at least get this message out to the audience. And then folks, what you'll see if you are shopping for solar right now in Illinois, uh, you'll be able to access uh, through the Solar Surge website, you'll be able to access and book an appointment to get a, a virtual consultation uh, for your home in Illinois shortly. So we're going to open that up uh, probably at the same time that this video posts. And uh, and basically, you know, the, the way this works, guys, is you just set up a, a, a short virtual conference, just like the call that Cody and I are on now. Um, you'll meet with either me or one of our system designers here and just talk through what your needs are. We can run an analysis to see how good of a candidate your home is. I mean, not every home is going to be a good candidate, but as long as you get good direct sunlight uh, on your roof, uh, the solar investment should pay for itself. And with these extra SREC credits uh, could actually, you know, profit you quite a bit in one lump sum in the first year. So, uh, well, folks, again, as always, I thank you for tuning in and, and watching the channel today. Uh, if the content that we have here and the information in this video was helpful, please make sure to, to click on the like button and just kind of tells YouTube and the platforms to just make the video visible for more people, which is especially important for this because this is more time sensitive uh, information before that 5% that cap comes into play. Uh, and then, of course, you know, uh, consider subscribing to the channel as well if you know, you're getting good information from the videos here. That way, as we publish new videos, it'll show up in your feed or you get notified so you can stay up to date with us. Well, folks, that'll do it for today then. Cody, thanks again for joining us. Joe Ordia here encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. And we'll see you on the next video.